Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how to create in Exchange 2010 a database availability group. So first off I'm going to show you the current configuration that I have in my test lab. So I have two Exchange 2010 servers and each of them have their own mailbox databases. So I have the first Exchange 2010 server EXCH new with the database called Acme and then I have a second Exchange 2010 server EXCH new 2 with a database called Contoso and in each of these databases I created a test user so if I go to recipients I have let's refresh this here I have two users created Jason and Mark Jason is has his mailbox stored on the Contoso database and Mark has his mailbox stored on the Acme database on the other exchange server. So, so there we go, Jason has his database on Contoso and Mark has his database on Acme. So now I'm going to log on to a client PC and test connections for these two individuals. So here I am on my XP box and I'm going to connect via OWA to any of the client access servers EXCH new or ES EXCH new 2 and attempt to access the mailbox for each of these individuals. So I'm going to type in the URL and the name and domain of the user. And there we go, we've logged on to Jason's email and we're going to type the same thing for I just need to sign out here mark so there you go we are, we are accessing the inboxes for both users so now without any database availability group and I'm going to demonstrate what will happen if we dismount one of the databases so let's dismount the, the database belonging to JSON so if you remember back in the exchange console is a member of the Contoso and Contoso is a database that belongs to the EXCH new 2 server. So we're going to right click and sorry, this would be on the Contoso and the status is currently mounted and we're going to just click on dismount to dismount for a particular database. So as you can see it's been dismounted and we're gonna try back our XP client. So we're gonna try back to log in here. And as expected there we get this error stating that the mailbox appears to be unavailable. So now we go back to our server and we remount There we go 
and then we enter back the credentials and we should be able to log on again since the database has been mounted so in the next part of the tutorial in the next series we're gonna look at how to create the database availability group so that this sort of situation does not happen in your production environment so what the database availability group allows you to do is that you will be able to have passive database copies of the Contoso database so that in the event that the, the database either ever gets dismounted due to corruption or is offline you will still be able to access the user's mailbox on other servers. So we're going to look at the database availability group in another tutorial.